three minutes and go. You know, after the last 24 going on 48 hours, you know, especially when you see one of your children struggling and you want to fix the situation, but you have to allow them their own journey because it's kind of like their first te first real test in adulthood. And you have to have faith that your child will do the right thing. And they are, and it's hard, but it's also scary as a parent because you want to, you know, and something my daughter said a couple years ago and it's resonated, you know, you never let me fail. And it's just tough, you know. This morning, I, me and my mini mini wanted, were supposed to watch a movie and he just got bored and it just made me feel like, why am I working so hard so much? Cause I'm trying to build this life for them and I'm missing parts of their life. Because I'm always on the road, or I'm always at work, or I'm always trying to, to build, you know, love wins to have a social imprint and change the world. And, you know, I'm missing the most important parts of their world. And, uh, I told you guys I'd always share the good, the bad, and the ugly. And the last 48 have been pretty ugly, emotionally, spiritually, for me. Because I feel helpless. I'm scared. And I'm just trying to hold it together long enough to get to the next moment. Because like I tell you guys all the time, you know, sometimes it's second by second. And today and yesterday were second by second. And, you know, one thing I've learned about myself in this journey is that my default reaction is anger and rage when I'm scared. Because I'm trying to mask how I'm feeling and also scare the other person to back off but this isn't something or someone I could scare it's an emotion that I have to deal with and get through to the other side and by doing that hopefully I'm being a, an example to my children to follow and I have to just be a part of the moment and allow it to, turn, to unfold the way it's going to and that scares me because I'm not in control and control is a big thing for me because it makes me feel safe and sometimes being not in control is the safest thing for me because if left to my own devices I will destroy something in the efforts to thinking that I'm protecting it so I have to have faith things will work out in a world where you can be anything be kind it's priceless and free and I promise you it will change the world one random act of kindness at a time